I used my car as an example because I have been replacing and cleaning the sensors, and I have noticed a significant improvement in engine quality. All cars have very similar sensors, but you should research your vehicle to check repair and cleaning. All engines are different, and mechanics will not suggest cleaning these sensors as part of tune-up. Modern cars depend on a network of electronic sensors to run smoothly. These sensors tell the computer how your engine is operating in real time. If just one sensor fails or gets dirty, your car could stall, idle roughly, or waste fuel. In this video, we're going deep into the most important sensors found in a 2004 Lexus RX 330, and in most other late model vehicles too. We'll cover what each sensor does, where it's located, how to spot failure symptoms, and whether you should clean it or replace it. Let's start with the crankshaft position sensor. This sensor tracks how fast the crankshaft is spinning and its exact position. It's essential for proper ignition timing and fuel injection. On the RX330, it's located low on the engine block near the crank pulley or bell housing. Symptoms of a bad crankshaft sensor. No start or long cranking. Engine stalling. Check engine light with codes like PV335. Misfires or jerking. Cleaning isn't effective here. If this sensor fails, it's usually due to internal wear or wiring. Just replace it. It's a moderately difficult job you may need to get under the vehicle for access. Next is the camshaft position sensor. It works with the crank sensor to manage fuel delivery and spark timing. Located on the engine's top end, usually near the timing chain area. Symptoms include rough idle or engine hesitation, hard starts, CL codes like P340 or P345. If there's a little metal dust or oil on it, you can clean the tip using an electronic safe cleaner. If that doesn't fix the issue, replacement is simple, usually one bolt and one connector. The MAF sensor measures how much air is entering the engine. Your engine uses that data to calculate fuel delivery, found between your air filter box and throttle body. Symptoms of a dirty or failing MAF, hesitation or stalling, poor fuel economy, check engine light with P0101, P0104. Clean this sensor first. Use a MAF-specific spray and spray the delicate wires inside. Don't touch them. Let it dry fully before reinstalling. Only replace it if the sensor is damaged or cleaning doesn't resolve the issue. This is one of the easiest sensors to service. The variable valve timing solenoid, or VVT solenoid, controls oil flow to adjust camshaft timing for better performance and efficiency. There are two on the RX330, Bank 1 and Bank 2. Symptoms of a faulty or dirty VVT solenoid, rough idle or sluggish power, poor fuel economy, CL codes like P0110, P0012, P020. These solenoids have tiny screens that can clog with sludge. You can remove and clean them using brake cleaner. Focus on the mesh filter and openings. If that doesn't work or if the solenoid sticks, it's time to replace it. This is a moderately easy job with basic tools. The knock sensor or anti-knock sensor detects pinging or engine knock and tells the ECU to adjust ignition timing. It's mounted on the engine block underneath the intake manifold, making it harder to access. Symptoms of a failing knock sensor. Loss of power, pinging or knocking under load, poor fuel economy, 25. This sensor is not serviceable or cleanable. If it fails, you'll need to remove the intake manifold, a time-consuming repair, but worth it to avoid engine damage. Let's briefly go over a few other important sensors on this and most vehicles. Oxygen sensors, also known as O2 sensors, are found on the exhaust. Symptoms of a faulty O2 sensor include poor mileage, emissions failure, and a check engine light. Don't clean them, just replace if faulty. The coolant temperature sensor controls engine temperature readings and fan operation. Symptoms of a bad sensor include overheating, poor mileage, and fan issues. It's easy to replace. The throttle position sensor, or TPS, tracks throttle opening. Symptoms of a faulty TPS are jerky acceleration and poor idle. It's often built into the throttle body, so you may need to replace the entire assembly if necessary. The vehicle speed sensor, or VSS, sends speed data to the ECU and speedometer. Symptoms of a bad VSS include harsh shifting and inaccurate speed readings. It's located on the transmission and should be replaced if faulty. Here's a quick reference guide to help you decide whether to clean or replace each sensor in your 2004 Lexus RX 330. The table shows common engine sensors, 
whether they can be cleaned, should be replaced, and the difficulty level for each. Whether you're chasing better performance, fixing a check engine light, or just curious about how your engine works, understanding your sensors is key. Start by cleaning the easy ones, like the MAF and VVT solenoids. If the symptoms persist or codes return, it's time for a replacement. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and comment with the sensor you're dealing with. And remember, every engine is different. Research your model before tackling any repair.